we're now going to graph cube roots. And we're going to do this the same way we did square roots, but we have to look for perfect cubes instead of perfect squares. So let's just start with our default f of x equals the cube root of x. So our point plotting points, we're going to put 0 in the center. And because it's a cube root, we can go positive and negative. And then we're going to go to our next perfect cube, which is 8. And that's as far as we're going to go. Oops, make sure we put a negative 1 on there. So we add 7, add 1, add 1, add 7. We don't want to go to the next one. The next perfect cube is 27, which is 19 away. And that's just too many tick marks. But notice again, we're always adding 1. And so we're going to go from our reference point, which is this guy right here, at 0, 0. And then we're going to go over 1, up 1, and backwards 1, down 1. And then over 7 more, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, up 1, down 1, and we get this funny little S shape to our cube root. And that's where the S shape comes from. Now we could also look at, and we're going to do this now a little bit differently, g of x equals the cube root of x minus 1. So what I'm going to do now, since we've explored this with square roots, and we know our pattern is 1, 7, let's just find our reference point. So our reference point would be whatever makes this 0, which is 1, plus 0 on the outside, so it's 0. So I'm going to start by going to 1, 0. And there's my reference point. I'm then going to go over 1 and up 1, and backwards 1 and down 1. And then for each of those, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And I get the rest of my shape, and so I just trace the lines, and I get my funny looking S. If I were to do h of x equals the cube root of x minus 2. This reference point is going to be at 0 minus 2. So we'll do him in green. He starts here. He goes up 1 over 1, and then up 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. He goes down 1, back 1, and then down 1 more, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And notice we get the same basic graph, but it's just two lower and one to the left. And that gives us our cube roots. And the same thing as before, if we had a two in there, we could deal with the a two, such as uh, v of x equals two cube roots of x. Well, here our reference point is 0, 0. We're going to go up two, over one, down two, back one, and then up two more to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and back to get seven and we get a much more exaggerated graph doing that.